Today on the Daily Deposit, we'll look at how Tesla sales continue to lag behind production. Despite a series of price cuts on its lower-priced vehicles and CEO Elon Musk's comments about strong demand at those lower prices, Tesla reported a modest 4% increase in sales in the first quarter compared to the final three months of last year. The first quarter was also the fourth consecutive quarter in which Tesla produced more vehicles than it delivered to customers. Some of this may be due to a lag between increased production and sales at two new factories, one in Texas and the other in Germany, which opened last spring. Tesla stated that the number of its more expensive models, the Model S and Model X, in transit to Europe, the Middle East, and Africa, as well as the Asia-Pacific region, has increased. However, it does mean that Tesla has produced 78,000 more cars than it has sold in the last year, implying that Tesla executives' claims of strong demand may not be supported by the numbers. That excess production of 78,000 vehicles is equivalent to 5% of the total number of vehicles built. First quarter sales were 18,000 vehicles behind production, which was less than the gap in the third and fourth quarters of last year but still equal to 4% of the vehicles built. We had a price increase earlier this year. We actually generated a huge demand after that, more than we can produce, really, Tom Zhu, Tesla's executive in charge of global production and sales, said at Tesla's Investor Day. And, as Elon said, you don't have to worry about demand as long as you offer a product with value at an affordable price. Despite Zhu and Musk's bullish comments, some analysts believe the hard numbers released on Sunday raise concerns about the strength of Tesla demand. If it wasn't clear before, it is now, Tesla has a demand problem, Gordon Johnson, an analyst and one of Tesla's harshest critics, wrote in a note Monday. For four consecutive quarters, Tesla has produced more cars than they have sold, despite the fact that two of its plants are operating at 20% to 40% utilization, and it unexpectedly shut down its largest plant three times in the first quarter, said Johnson, who believes Musk has a pathological problem with the truth. In short, regardless of what Elon Musk says, Tesla has a serious-slash-major demand problem, Johnson said. The company reported that it sold 422,875 vehicles during the quarter. This falls short of the 430,000 vehicles predicted by analysts polled by Refinitiv. According to Dan Ives, a tech analyst at Wedbush Securities, the consensus on Wall Street was 421,500 deliveries, which would be a very narrow beat for Tesla. Even Ives, a Tesla stock bull, believes that the lower prices Tesla received for cars in the quarter will result in tighter profit margins in the future. On April 19, Tesla will release its full first quarter financial results. The big question will be margins, as price cuts will have an impact on this front, he wrote in a client note on Sunday. Despite efforts to ramp up production in Germany and Texas, first quarter output was only 0.2% higher than in the final three months of 2022. Production and sales increased significantly when compared to the first quarter of 2022, with production increasing by 44% and deliveries increasing by 36%. Even so, this suggests that Tesla is falling short of its long-term goal of 50% annual growth. Tesla shares, which fell 65% in 2022 for their worst annual performance ever, closed Friday up 68% in 2023. Even so, shares were down 41% from where they were at the end of 2021. The sales report sent shares down more than 5% in midday trading Monday. You have now received your deposit. If you like these stories, please like and subscribe, and don't forget to click the bell icon to be the first to receive all of my new content as it becomes available.